welcome to this new video to talk about Salesforce and Agent Force more specifically. So we will learn together uh, to create an Agent Force uh, to provide services to website visitors. So let's get started. The first thing I will do is to go in uh, Einstein and Einstein setup. So as you can see here, I just turn the toggle on. Okay. After I will go into Einstein bot and I will do the same. I turn my toggle on for Einstein bot. Perfect. Now, what I will need to do is to go into embed uh, service deployment. And within embed service deployment, I will click uh, ESA web development. Uh, and I will come to click on publish. So here they will say that we will take approximately 10 minutes to update. Uh, but that should be enough to start. OK, perfect. Now we can go to digital experience and all site. As you can see here, we will already have a workspace called Coral, uh, Coral Cloud, and I will click on Builder here. Here on this Builder, I should get uh, an overview of the web page, uh, and we will see what it looks like. So, okay, this is interesting. Uh, as you can see here, my website visitor will land on this page, and what we will do us is to create um, to to basically create an agent force that will be embedded into a chat that will allow the end user to uh, to create um, like the, um, the, the service agent. OK, second step. Second step, I will go to um, agent force and I will click agent. So within agent here, uh, I will just turn that on, this toggle on. And now I can create a brand new agent. Uh, so I will just give you a quick look. Um, my service agent two. Uh, this is a service agent. And here you can either make it simple, specific, and define a tone. And once your agent is created, you can go here and you can open in Builder. So this will be the interesting part. What do you do within the Builder? So what we will do is we will go back to uh, Coral Cloud because we already have an agent that is pretty much ready to go. And we will open it in Builder. Within the Builder, here we will have different um, aspects. Uh, and here we will have a console to try what's going on. So as you can see here, we have a topic that is created. So this topic is called um, Experience Management. So this is basically um, the scope of work that the agent will use. Um, so we give it a name. Uh, but here we will also uh, explain what is the objective of this um, of this topic, like where the agent can go, what he can achieve. So, for example, uh, here this agent have for objective to answer customer inquiry and issue related to booking experience at Coral Cloud Resort. So this will tell the large language model about that. The scope is really uh, what the agent can interact with, what he can do. Uh, so here we can say we can assist the user in navigating and managing booking. Um, here we have different type of instruction. So basically an instruction will be if this, then do that. So for example, if a customer would like more information on an experience, go to search in the experience object, like the record that are uh, related to the query of the user. Uh, here you will have um, another one. When the customer requests a list of recommended experience sessions, First, retrieve their contact record, pass, the rec pass this record into the generate personalized schedule action. And, and here we are telling like the different step that the large language model uh, must follow. Okay. And here we have the action that are associated to uh, this agent. So like the action associated to this agent are basically um, an agent without an action is just a chatbot that cannot do anything except talking and having a conversation with you. When you add an action, to uh, an agent, the agent will be able to uh, communicate with you through a conversation, but also um, do a proper concrete action in your Salesforce uh, CRM. So for example, here uh, I can find query record or uh, or like here, like you have like the six uh, different actions. So identify object by name, identify record by name, uh, ger generate personalized schedule, which is an Apex class and create an experience booking, which is uh, a flow. But if I click here, for example, I will have access to uh, all the different um, action that exist uh, within my uh, agent force studio. So I can add this too, for example, uh, let's add just uh, 
draft or revise email. Just to give you an example, we don't need it, but here I'm adding a new action to my uh, agent. And I think what I can show you as well is if tomorrow, uh, if tomorrow you decide to create a new, a new, uh, a new action, what you can do is you go in agent force and you will go in action. So within action here, you have your library, but you also have the action that you can create based on three different aspects. So you will have Apex, which is an Apex class that is doing a function flow. So it's like point and click function where Apex is coded function that you uh, programmatic function. And third one, uh, prompt template. So that is uh, related to prompt builder that is also uh, available in, uh, in Salesforce. So if I just give you an example, I give it a name. Here I will have the possibility to, uh, to, um, to do an action, create a uh, personalized schedule. Okay. Okay, so this is just an example, but it tells you what kind of input you, you can use in order to create a new action into uh, for your agent. Okay, so now what we can do, and here, like here you have like the uh, history of it. Once you are quite happy with the with your setup, you can write the following uh, test. So we will say, uh, what are the current activities listed? I think they call that experience, actually. Experience available. Okay, and here, basically, when you write your request, what will happen is that here you will have the step-by-step uh, -step, uh, process. You are able to understand what is happening exactly. Uh, so, for example, here you will see the instruction that are given to the to the LLM through the prompt that we created, and here the different action and the reasoning. So here they need uh, like like uh, like the name of the of the person. So we will use uh, I will just go in Sales Cloud uh, Sales, and here I will open a new tab, and here I will select um, the contact Sofia Rodriguez, and here I will test again. Uh, my name is Sofia Rodriguez. Okay, so now let's see uh, how Agent Force uh, proceed with the request. So now we should have something more accurate. Okay, so as you can see now, what it, what is happening is that uh, Agent Force is able to retrieve the contact Sofia Rodriguez, and uh, based on that, they will be able to find what is. Uh, the personalized schedule uh, that like what are the activity that are matching the interest of uh, Sofia Rodriguez. So like the answer is grounded. And here you can see step by step the process that allows us to do that. Uh, and now I should be able, as I have an action here, uh, generate, create experience session booking. So we have that through uh, a, a prompt, I think. Yeah, a prompt. So I will be able uh, to say, could you tell me more about the beach boot camp? Here, like the the agents will uh, deep dive into this specific activity, and I should get a summary of the activity. Okay, so this is interesting. As you can see, we ask for the record name beach boot, boot camp challenge, and the data that is pulled is that one, and based on that. Uh, so Salesforce is able to uh, release this information. So the price, for example, the duration, the starting time, the capacity time, and all of that. Now, uh, if I say uh, I would be interest, interested to book uh, to book the beach food camp challenge, here I join force through um, the, the flow that we are using here should be able to do a booking on my behalf uh, for this specific activity based on the request. Uh, so now uh, we will see what uh, is happening. Okay. Ah, so here, as you can see, there is another session. There is different session. Uh, so here I will say, uh, so here I will say uh, one guest 
uh, in session S750. Uh, and here, the booking has been successful. You are not booked to the, uh, to the Beach Bootcamp Challenge. So this has been done uh, through the action that we have here, that is uh, create experience session booking. Um, now, if I go into uh, the action, just to show you, uh, this is through a flow. So as you can see, this booking has been made through a flow that allows us to do uh, this action of booking. OK, uh, now that we have the agent uh, that is pretty good and activated, what we can see here is uh, the fact that the agent, uh, custom agent user. So my understanding of that is that it's like um, in Salesforce, you have user in that have permission, permission set to access specific data. It's the exact same for agent. Uh, I guess the, the last thing that we need to do, just to show you, now that I've done that, I will be able to, uh, to add a component that will be, uh, that will be, that will allow us to, uh, to, to do the messaging. So it's called embed messaging. Okay. And here, as you can see, uh, it will be related to our agent that we have created. So once I'm happy with that, I can just publish. And then once I've published, I can click here, view Coral Cloud. And here we should be able to try the agent uh, properly. Okay. So here I click on the chat. Um, hello, my name is Sophia Rodriguez, and I would like to book an activity, uh, an experience. Okay, let's see what is available. So just to show you here that your agent uh, is available through the website uh, and can help and take action directly. Uh, what are the experience? experience available. So here we will ask a list of the experience available, and we should be able to book uh, the Beach Bootcamp uh, thing. OK, so here, as you can see, you have like the, the different activity uh, uh, so that are recommended for my user based on the interest. And I will say, uh, please book the yoga class for me. And here, like the agent, agent force will be calling an action that, that we created and the action uh, will uh, will will uh, do that. So I will just try another one. Uh, please book the booking class for one person. And here it should be able to book the the cooking class. Okay, now the booking class is uh, confirmed. And uh, what I will do. Is just to show you Sofia Rodriguez, and here if I go, if I refresh the page, uh, I'm not sure I can see what experience I'll book. Ah, oh, experience case, a uh, beach bootcamp, and if I click view all, uh, so the cooking thing I think we did, cooking class for one person. Uh, yeah, it, it, it might take a, a few uh, a few few minutes to sync. Ah, cooking class, yeah, cooking class and beach boot camp. So it's it's working correctly. So that's pretty much agent force for service uh, to provide like service booking uh, um, automatically for your um, your customer when they visit your website. They can speak uh, and interact with an agent that will automatically tell them what are the um, activity that are per related to their profile uh, based on their interest and also make the action of booking directly. Um, so pretty impressive actually. Uh, so I'm looking forward to create new agents and do more demonstration. If you have any question, please let me know. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.